my daughter was just born and he had just had his daughter and they lived on top of the hill overlooking the power plant and that's where he worked. And he worked so hard that he didn't even know that he was sick. He was waiting three weeks for a new heart and he didn't get one and he died. So I just started thinking about, you know, how much all that coal dust was on my brother. Many people on the reservation have decided they're tired of being polluted on from the outside. Now, they're looking for solutions to this problem on the inside. So at the same time the Reed Gardner plant is trying to expand its coal ash storage capability, the Moapa Paiutes are trying to show a different way forward. One that uses the resources that are already there and moves us past coal. Oh, I'm working for a green energy and um, where we're going to have a solar plant. And so I think we're the first tribe in the United States to be putting this uh, plant on a reservation at this uh, large scale. So I guess I'm really um, proud and I'm kind of their first worker. No pollution, no nothing, no sound or smell or nothing coming from it. You know, to go ahead and be a part of that connection, to be connected with the sun, making it into energy. To be, to be that connected with nature, Mother Earth, plants, rocks, animals. I mean, that's basically who we are. You know, that's what we started out with, you know, back before this was a reservation. You know, that's how our people were from back then, lived off, lived from the earth. In some ways, I just feel like the Indian people are here uh, for a reason. And maybe it's to try to help do what we can to preserve the environment. We can't not just sit here and just take it, but to go ahead and do something about it. You know, we want to go ahead and have a solar project. Say, hey, you know, there's alternative ways. We are doing it. We are trying to go ahead and be more, uh, more positive. We're trying to be more, uh, more active. and trying to be more, you know, more uh, supportive with regard to the, the environment.